my channel you're welcome if you're just tuning in welcome to my channel i'm sorry about that my name is tofumi and i'm the creative director of official awelewa you're welcome to my channel please subscribe like and share my content i'll be dropping videos that relates to fashion designing how to cut how to measure how to sew and i'm going to be dropping every video back to back so please subscribe and i will appreciate your feedback please make sure that you comment if you have questions please drop your comments and my email is linked in the description box below so today i'm going to be taking you through how to take normal measurements and standard measurements and we are starting with standard measurements standard measurements are measurements that in most cases are usable for everybody you have to pardon my handwriting so standard measurements the most common of it is the shoulder And in most cases, please note that this does not mean that everybody's shoulder is going to be 16 inches. In most cases, in some cases it varies, but in most cases, for people between the size of 8 to 12, you most likely find out that their shoulder is 16 inches. People that are slimmer, below 8, 8 size 8, and below size 12, they are the ones that you have to you know take precaution of. So that is why you have to take note when you are measuring, when you are sewing for somebody, especially if it is ready to wear. They you know have the, uh, what do I call it? The chance of meeting the person face to face and measuring the person. So 16. Then half length. I use H slash L for half length. And half length is 16 also in most cases. If the person is busty, you can add one plus one. If the person doesn't have bust, you can remove one. Do you understand? Because if the person is, is above six, size 16, you have to make sure that you measure the person yourself. Or you tell the person to look for someone to measure them. Now, moving on, trouser lengths. Except the person specifically tells me that, Tofu me, I want this trouser to be very to be extra long. Or except the person is extra long, I use 46. For trouser length 46 that is for six the old trouser plus the band if i'm adding band and if i'm not adding band if it's materials like crepe that i might not need to add band i just i just cut out 46 for whatever inches i'm going to add now moving on sewing allowance is two inches that one is standard. You don't need. You don't need to measure the person for anything. Anything. So in that one, standard is two inches. Now, if you are measuring your shoulder to your waist, if you are cutting an outfit that has maybe is a straight. Okay, for example, straight dresses that you know that doesn't have half length that you have to cut into two do you understand it is 15 inches that is the standard measurement standard 15 from shoulder to your waist is your 15 you can measure it yourself to be very very sure then from your waist to your hip from your waist to your hip is eight inches there are people that are taller, they have longer legs, so you have to measure them. Same goes for shoulder to waist. If the person has bust, just like I explained on this half length, you have to, if the person has bust, you can add one. If the person doesn't have bust, you can remove one. But standard measurement for shoulder to waist for most people is 15 inches. Neck measurements is four by four that is normal standard name let me write it here length is not showing that is four inches wide and four inches deep except if you are doing a style that you want to make it wider or you want to make it closer then you can make it wider or reduce as much as you like but standard measurement for, for normal round neck is four by four inches For your sleeve, I use 10, as I said for your sleeve, for sleeve, I use 10 inches standard, if it's a short sleeve, no matter the size of the person, I just use 10 inches standard, that is a minus, 
my sewing allowance 10 inches time that for my sleeve short sleeve not long sleeve short sleeve so i think that's basically all about it that's basically all about standard measurements shoulder is 16 inches half length is 16 plus one or minus one as the case may be trouser length is 46 inches sewing allowance is standard two inches those that one doesn't even need size shoulder to waist is eight it's 15 inches rather waist to hip is eight inches neck is cut to four by four inches that's four inches wide and four inches deep then sleeve let me this in very well sleeve is 10 inches now let's move on to measuring someone properly so now for a second part of this video i'm going to be teaching you how to make correct how to take correct measurements rather so we are starting with this person's full length to measure full length it starts from the shoulder across the bust not like this not like this because this bulgy part of the bust is part of the length across the bust and then to wherever you want it to go if it's a short dress with a blouse with a long dress with a flowing dress just take it like this and to wherever it is that you want it to go to moving on to measure the bust you come to the bulgy part is it bulgy? is it bulgy? wherever it is the fullest part of part of the bust and then you measure and make sure that it is free take it above and below like this and make sure that it is free so that the person will be able to breathe and it's not like you saw it and the person's breast is pressed it's not nice it's not going to look nice even for yourself you said no go like her then for the waist the waist goes in the most and forms part of the shape so you have to look for where the body part that goes in the most you measure and do the same thing to make sure that it is free enough for the person to breathe because I think the waist is where the breathing part comes in the most. Then moving on to the hip, you measure it across the bum bum, not above the bum bum, not below the bum bum. Measure it across the bum bum so it doesn't press the bum bum and then check if it is free. If it, goes, if it goes up and down freely and that's it. And then half length, same thing, across the bust and here. This time we Moving on shoulder. From, what, from, from this point to this point, that's the shoulder. Then sleeve length from the shoulder here to wherever it is that you want it to be, that's where the sleeve length is. The round sleeve is like this. Except the style is all this style that everything is going to be tight, or except if, it's, if the hand is extremely big, you just add so. But normally you just do like this so that it's free. I'm sorry, the person will have to be doing like this when you wear clothes, you understand? Round shoulder is for all shoulder outfits. Measure it like this. Just round shoulder like this. And that's it. So that's it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my content. And please turn on the notification bell so that when I post, you'll be among the first set of people to know. And I promise I won't disappoint. Bye, guys.